the National Inventors Hall of Fame has been around for nearly five decades, but hasn't included any black women in its ranks, until now. Engineer Marion Croak and the late ophthalmologist Dr. Patricia Bath will make history as part of the next cohort of inductees, the nonprofit announced this past week. They are the first black female inventors to receive this honor, which has been bestowed on some 600 other innovators both living and dead. Innovation drives the worldwide economy forward and improves their quality of life. It's why at the National Inventors Hall of Fame we are privileged to honor our country's most significant inventors, who are giving the next generation the inspiration to innovate, create, and solve current and future problems. Crook and Bath are among the seven honorees announced this month, and why? Bath, who died in 2019 at age 76, was no stranger to making history. She is recognized as a black female physician to receive a medical patent, according to The Knife, the first black woman to complete a residency in ophthalmology at New York University and the first woman to chair an ophthalmology residency program in the United States, at Drew UCLA, to name just. Bath invented laser FACO, a minimally invasive device and technique that performs all steps of cataract removal, from making the incision to destroying the lens to vacuuming out the fractured pieces. According to Bath's National Inventors Hall of Fame biography, she came up with the idea in 1981, published her first paper in 1987 and received her first U.S. patent for the device in 1988. It was being used in Europe and Asia by 2000. Bath's method employed a faster technique and established the foundation for eye surgeons to use lasers to restore and improve vision for millions of patients suffering from cataracts worldwide, reads another press release. Bath received five patents over the course of her career. She also advocated for using public health approaches to eradicate preventable blindness, especially among racial minorities, 